Hi guys and welcome back to Burnley. Hopefully uh, the stream will go okay. It looks healthy. The stream is healthy at the moment. Hey Gobby, how you doing mate? Uh, so yeah, I think as I said it's going to be quite an opening 10 minutes or so because we do have... And one of the problems I've got straight away is I've got a problem with the wage budget. I've got plenty of money. But I was thinking in terms of the squad that I was looking at the fact that I really only have two centre backs. So if you take out if we take out Bayek and we take out Kirken, who's not a centre back, and we take out Egan Riley, and we take out Arroyo, who's a left back, then I really only have two centre backs. Hey Blob. And um that is of course a problem. But then, of course, Christian Bayek is a very, very good centre-back. So that would give me three. But then, Christian Bayek is my main man at the DLP. And uh, we can take out Egan Riley from there. We only have four to cover the, the two midfield spots. But we're only going to be playing about 44 to 46 games. But I think I want five in there. So if I th was thinking about using Bayek as a central defender sometimes, then I would need to bring in somebody here. I also have to bring in somebody on the right wing. Cherlinoff is just not good enough, in my opinion. And on, on the left, um, we're in kind of like the same boat. Um, better on the left than we are on the right. And I was... I really do need to bring in a um, attacking midfielder. So <laughs> it left me with a bit of conundrum, but I was thinking about it. And I've got three targets possibly already. If I go to my short list, uh, what I was thinking was the centre-back. If I bring in this guy who's well affordable... And he is a very good centre-back. and He has pretty much all the things that I look for. He's got a decent first touch. He can um, pass the ball. He's um, aggressive to an extent. A good anticipation, good composure. He's got all those things that I highlighted in that little um, video that I did the other day. And... Uh, He's 24 years old and he's got a little bit of development to do. So I'm thinking he would come in as a central defender. So if we uh, go to central defenders and we have Bayek in there and if we add him from the short list, then we have four very good central defenders there, in my opinion. Thanks, Blob. So... That would solve the central defender problem. If we brought him in, he's, he's a, would be a very, very good asset. And then we'd have to look for if Bayek could still play as the, um, as the playmaker, but we would need cover for him if we have to use him at centre-back. So that's where... That is where... I've got two people in mind. Harry Winks is one of them. Uh, Harry Winks has all the attributes that I really need for a first season in the Premier League. He's your first touch of 14. He can pass the ball. He's got good technique, good anticipation, good bravery, good composure, concentration, decisions. He's quite determined, good teamwork, good work rate. He has everything that I need from so he is an option to bring in he could play as my playmaker or can play as the center mid on support um he would be a good option the only problem with him is that he has a hip injury and he's not fit yet he's not expected to be fit if we look at his um injury history he has had five major injuries in the last six years so that's not looking great. And he was out for five months with torn ankle ligaments. So whether he would be actually a good buy, he's only five million. So it would be a gamble. Um, and the other one I was looking at was Matias Enrique, who 
is available for around about the same price and he again has these attributes that I'm looking for great first touch good passing good technique he's aggressive and he um, is good anticipation bravery composure concentration decisions they're all good and he can also tackle his marking is not very good but um, we could probably uh, as he is probably not the number one we could probably let him off his marking a little bit there so he has the right attributes for me he's also not very strong he's probably better suited to playing in center mid um, where his tackling is going to be more useful than his marking so he probably would do a very very good job so i'm thinking he would come in in midfield and then we definitely need a right winger and i was looking at jace jacob brune larson now he can also play on the left for for me but he would be a very good inverted winger on support doesn't have all the attributes that i'm looking for but he has most of them and um yeah he he would do a good job i think as as the inverted winger on support so that would solve a few little problems that i have and it would give me budget worries and then i would still be struggling for an attacking mid and i had an idea when i was thinking about it just now i had an idea i've got up up top i've got uh, Aspria can play there. I've got Veghorst. Now, I spent all last season <laughs> waiting for Veghorst to come back. And uh, now that he's back, I'm not sure he actually fits what I want to be doing. He's a target forward, can play as a, as a pressing forward, but he just doesn't have the pace that I'm looking for. Um and he's worth a lot of money there's no way i'm going to be playing with a target forward a pressing forward would work but with that pace <clears throat> with that acceleration it's just not good enough um if i was playing with a 442 he might be useful um so we're looking at him with a with a transfer value of 33 to 40 million. Now, I reckon that he'll be upset. If I go and transfer list him, he's going to be upset. <laughs> and uh, But I was kind of thinking, if he gets upset, I'm pretty sure there are going to be people coming in for him. Um, and we'll have to see what they come up with. So I think I'm going to start by transfer listing. Yeah, and he's obviously got upset. Um, and so we will uh, I'll try and persuade him. Um, I, I, should I just be honest with him? Um, and just say, look, I can't find any, any place for you in my squad. Um, so I think I'll do that. He's offended. Um, so uh, now he's going to be upset, but I have to stick to my guns now. Um, you're, I can't, I'm not going to say you're finished at the club. Um, training with the youth team. <laughs> um, this could be a chance for you to broaden your horizons. Um, so i'm just gonna say that um i'm happy here i'm going nowhere <laughs> and it didn't work but we're gonna transfer a list him anyway and um see what it what what actually happens um we'll put the value at 33 mil he might come back to me now and say that value is too high i don't know we're gonna try and transfer a list him anyway and see what he says but he did say, I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I should have threatened him. <laughs> and, uh, uh, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go and make some signings. Um, if I go back to my... Because time is moving on. We've only got a few weeks before the season starts. And so we need to make some signings now. And I, I don't know about you, but Harry Winks' injury 
Harry Winks's injury record worries me a little bit. Um, and so I think Matthias, although he's a better player than Enrique, I think Enrique is probably, as he's two years younger as well, um, is probably a better bet. But first of all, I want to get this, um, if I can, I want to sign this central defender. So um, we've obviously um, talked to him before. 47 to 60. I think we can afford that. So um, we'll make an offer. And I don't want to pay it all up front. Let's go 5 mil up front. Add some installments. Let's go four installments of. Let's go for about 11 mil. It's 11.5 mil. Let's see what they. Oh, they've accepted it. Maybe I've bid too much for him there. <laughs> but, well, if it's a bit too much there. But, well, that's what he's worth to me. So, um. I, I still think at 11 mil, even though I might have been able to get him cheaper, that's a good deal. Um, he's extremely interested in signing for us. So hopefully that that's one over over the... Um, I definitely need to get my right winger in. And this guy, um, Larson, he's interested as well. He's cheap. Um, although I don't know what his um, wage demands are going to be like. Uh, again, 30 to 40. So we do have to sell Veghorst. And he has a transfer value of 1.9 mil. And that's way below what his value is, I think. And uh, so I think we'll make an offer for him. Uh, we just got offer 1.9 mil. And they're happy with that. And I think that's this is looking good so far. And then uh, who was the other one? would be Matthias Enrique. We don't know about him, but so we'll hold off on him for a minute. We'll just ask his agent. We're keen on signing him, but he doesn't want to join Burnley. Okay, so maybe we'll just go with what we've done for now. Um, Amadeic has considerable interest in signing. I'll give him a big pay rise. Come on, play the game. Star player? Yeah, why not? He's a good player. He's better than anything that I've got. 41, that's reasonable, but let's see if we can get him down a little bit. Um, 1.5 million is a bit high for his signing on fee. Feel, he thinks a lot of himself. And yearly wage rise. And so he wants a 17 million release clause, which we can't take out, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to just up his sell on percentage by 5%. He's agreed to that. That's good. Um, so that's one. <laughs> Transfer has leaked on this guy. So I want to make sure I give him a good offer. Um, and he, he does want to be used as a right winger with an inverted winger role. So that's... Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's start negotiating for him. Don't have a problem with regular starter. I don't have a problem playing him there. Um, but we don't have to promise him that. Oh, allow the player to treat the club as a... He's agreed to those. Oh, this, this is where the board are going to play silly buggers now, aren't they? Because we don't have the <laughs> only gonna say, um, oh, let's go to my finances and let's make a budget adjustment. 840. That should be cool. 848. Now we can go back and negotiate with him. Uh, what did he want in the beginning? I can't remember what he wanted in the beginning. He's on 34. He wanted 41, didn't he? What's happened here? Current offer. There we go. So he wanted 41, I think. So let's, let's give him 45. Let's give him a good offer. 
43.5 let's bring that down a little bit and then okay everything else looks cool 25 mil release clause yeah that looks okay doesn't want a yearly wage rise but i'm going to give him a little bonus as well premier league <laughs> well he's not going to go for qualifying for the europa league is he um team of the year bonus well let's throw that in as well yep team of the year if he gets in the team of the year he deserves it so let's suggest that he's gone for that okay and then we have to see what's going to happen with veg horst because we don't want an upset player hey angelo how are you doing hey hey stewart 47k yeah we got we've got it 43 and a half k we can always if lots of play if lots of teams come in for him we can always go back and up it um but what we've got to do is we've got to sell veg horst um arroyo could become a good i think he is a good player actually that that boy arroyo i think he will become a very good fullback he's not ready yet but will be um will become a very good good fullback so hopefully we will do a little bit of business this week and get some players in pronto he wants to try out Bayek. i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with him on that and i'm gonna have a look at what Bayek looks like as a as a center back arroyo i mean he does need um he doesn't need the game time more than the others but it's worth worth looking at him might have been 41 or 47 yeah i think he wanted 41.5 stewart and uh we've given him 43 and a half to begin plus we've given him a bit of an extra bonus so but we can always go back if other clubs come in for him now we can always go back and uh, up it because his um it was a good deal at 1.9 million he he's worth a lot more than 1.9 million i think and um we do need to get players in now and Burnley squad to be decided i don't think so i don't think there's um there's a need to do that i don't think you're the man i'm looking for in terms of my scouting uh we'll apply for that why not and then is that going to improve the quality of of the under well let's defensive coach he's good at working yeah well let's offer him a contract i don't really want to get involved too much oh he wants far too much money let's go over four years see if that works he's either going to accept it or he won't and adam peters a loan manager okay let's try we're going to be told we don't need another loan manager anyway so he may or may not come in um i'm not gonna submit my oh i do have to submit it there's no need yet which is not a great big squad is it <laughs> so i don't really see the need while we're still playing friendlies uh to actually uh, i don't tend to get involved with the under 21s coaching too much i just kind of let the assistant manager deal with all that stuff unless i've got a really good bunch of young kids in the development center and um, i haven't come across i haven't come across any um stuart that's that's something that i haven't um yeah i mean he's an under 21 coach and i he the then the, my assistant said uh, why don't we improve the quality of the coaching for, so for the under 21s so okay i'll go along with whatever you say oh the one i just bid for i thought he was a loan manager did i just uh who is he 
Yeah, loan manager. I brought. I wanted to bring him in as a loan manager. And then this one, who was the... Where's the other one? He's not even listed there. Interesting. Oh, he won't be because he's the under-21s coach. So, I, as I said, I don't want to get involved too much in the under-21s. I'll leave the coaching staff to the um, to the assistant unless unless I have got an extremely good talented bunch of youth players. Then I'm not going to get involved with them, and I don't have very good youth at the moment. So what is the point of actually doing anything about it? McNally is not training very well. Get your act together, sunshine. No, Nathan Phillips, this is not acceptable. He's not training very well. New recruit into the club. And Bayek, also not training very well. So hopefully a little bit of a ticking off will do the, the trick there. The one I just bid for. Yeah, he was an under-21 coach. Yeah, Gobby. Um, but like I said, my assistant said, go for it. And, okay, no worries. They want to loan Costilios. I want to keep him. Because I've got a small squad. Is he actually in the squad, Costilios? Yeah, I want to keep him just in case. He'd be a good backup, so I'm going to reject that. Southampton, ah, oh, Southampton have gone in for for Winks, and who's Matteo Gabbia? Oh, he, that's who that is. So he's accepted, and his work permit has been granted. Who is he? Didn't I just bid for someone else? Yeah. So now I don't need to use Bayek. As a central defender, I forgot. Yeah, that was last time. I forgot. I went and bought, made a bid for him, didn't I? Okay. So we'll accept that. We'll be quite strong at the back. Pleased to sign a player of his caliber. Yeah, I forgot about him. So we will be quite strong at the back. So if we go and look at the squad now, we have to give him a game, I think. We'll have to see how he is. Got to put him in now. Amadeich has been granted a work permit. So has Larson. So those two are also going to sign. And... What I want to do is have a look at um, anybody interested in Veghorst. Yeah. Oh, lots of play lots of teams coming in for Veghorst. We've just got to see how. I, actually, if I move him now to the under twenty one squad, <laughs> then that will upset him even more. So, uh, squad numbers, I've already done that, haven't I? So that's done. And I want to put in, um, what's his, what's his name? Gabba. I want him to play. Kirkin. I want to have a look at what my first team might look like together. So Kirkin can go on to... Left back, Arroyo can come in here. Scott Twine in here. And Aspria out on the wing. Actually, I might swap those over. And then Bayek, wherever Bayek is. He can come in there. And who's my other... Phillips can come in as the other central defender. Gabia, I think, is a strong passer. Yeah, he's got 
he's got he's a very good player he is so i think now we're looking like this team is improving all the time yeah i know um but he's i don't know if he's a like favored he hasn't been around at the club for a year so let's have a look at the dynamics um currently no player is unhappy <laughs> so uh Veghorst is not unhappy about being moved to the uh under 21s and then Campbell what the what it means is that if we can sell Veghorst I can like maybe bring in a young forward like Delap um on loan and you know Delap Gobby he's a, everyone's go-to loan player <laughs> and uh, it would be just nice to have Delap if I can get him as a squad player um even as a regular starter he could rotate with Campbell um so my team is looking not bad at the moment I'm still short on the right wing but if we get that um once we get um Larson in we've strengthened there We've brought in another centre-back who is a very good player. So defensively, we're looking extremely strong. And then a forward and probably looking at um, somebody in here, which would be really cool. If we could find a really good player and we'll have some money once we, um, once we have sold Veghorst so our committed spending is 872,000 and uh, let's hope somebody comes in quick Leonardo yeah 17 mil yeah but he'll want to be a regular starter Gobby I reckon yeah was he a regular starter for you and he did show up on the um, on the scouting what's it Or did he come in as a squad player with you? So I think that's a good team. <coughs> but we do need to um, give some players some game time. So we'll bring Bastian in. Uh, not necessary really to give him game time, but Cholinov needs game time. Arroyo. Who is Arroyo? He's... Um, my left back. We can give him some game time as well. Okay, so let's give those some game time. And let's go and play a football match. And I think I'm going to play with the low block. Am I? Am I playing with the low block? Let's turn that noise off. I think I'm going to play with the low block here. Is that what I'm playing? I think I'm going to have to when it comes to... Um, when it comes to... No, that's the high press. Do I want to try out the low block first and put him on defend for the low block? I think, yeah, we've got to be playing the low, the low block... Only a young kid, so he might not want to come in as an important player or a... Uh, Oi, who's this? Gabia is complacent. <laughs> uh, I still expect to win. There's a couple of players. Gabio is obviously full of himself, that boy. Hey, I'm a good player. And he's um, he's a little bit complacent. But came Coventry, we should be winning this game. This will be, um, it should be actually a good test, Coventry, of are we improving as a team? I, I actually think the team is looking quite good. It's not going to do anything spectacular, but it might survive, <laughs> which is all I really want this team to do. And we're looking good, looking good. Oh, 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 still having our finishing problems, but that wasn't far off. So, yeah, Leonardo, I think he was on my um, on my scouting list, wasn't he? So, yeah, he could come in 
everybody's go-to is Liam Delap. So there are a couple of options once we get rid of Veghorst. There's a couple of options that we can do to bring in a backup striker. And also good players for when Campbell isn't finding the back of the net. Yeah, so he's definitely an option, Gobby. Definitely an option. Now, come on, Burnley. We should be putting this Coventry team to the sword. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <sighs> I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't do any opposition instructions. So let's... Do some opposition instructions. Let the assistant do that. See, not thinking straight and it can cost you the game. <laughs> uh, I think we might have to uh, go a little bit more attacking here. But if I'm going to go attacking, I can't play the low block. That's for sure. I do want them to get used to playing the low block, though, because I'm not going to be able to high press in the Premier League. I'm going to have to come off the press completely. Otherwise, we're going to get destroyed. But maybe that was just a blip. But Churlinoff is in. Is it in? Yes, it is. That's unusual to see Churlinoff getting a goal. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> that is something I'm not expecting. Churlinoff, he's got like finishing of seven, hasn't he? Churlinoff is useless. But. He'll have to do as a backup player. That was a nice pass. Who was that? Who was that? A Spree made that pass. That was really nice. It was a good idea to switch him and Twine over. I I am I am not sure I am good at that, Gobby. I I think that transfer windows are the worst part of my game. I am useless at transfer windows. I think you you have got that me beat on transfer windows, that's for sure. Some of the players you sign, I don't know where you find them. I can't find them. And uh, interestingly, the uh, the new save, the Norwich save, I found something really interesting in the transfer window. That in the year 2041, nobody, it seems, has um, is able to concentrate all the players that are coming up have really poor concentration and <laughs> that's really weird it's like they've become they've become lacking in concentration in the future <laughs> that's like really weird <laughs> so uh i i transfer windows i hate them <laughs> I absolutely, I think I get results though because, mainly because of opposition instructions. Oh, come on, boys. I think that's why I get results, is that that's my forte, is match prep. Not the fact that I can buy good players. I'm useless. I hate transfer windows. Absolutely hate them. You're just um, you're just left at the mercy of your your scouts. <laughs> it always worries me, and the Norwich, oh, the Norwich transfer window has been an absolute nightmare. I don't know, looking at that squad, if I've improved it at all. And I was given fifty two million, and it's almost gone. And I don't think I've improved the team. Oh, come on, boys. I just shout at these boys. What is going on here? This is, if this is my low block, we are in big trouble in the Premier League. This is awful. I don't think I want to see that again. It was okay. I'm gonna go. I think we have to change. I think we have to move to high pressing them. We have to go at them. We'll put Bastion now on a support duty. So, oh, this team is... It worries me, this Burnley team. And now we're on a high press, high line. And it might be that I have to attack. Might be that we're going to have to attack in the Premier League, which won't be very uh, 
which won't be very nice. We've had all the game, of course, and our XG is better than theirs. Um, we've dominated the possession. But I, it's this game. The opposition don't need... Uh, you've been terrible. That's what I'm going to tell them. None of this pussyfooting about. This is not acceptable. You've been absolutely dreadful. Coventry are like a league below us now. Yeah, it's kind of typical and it just tells you something is not working. That's what it tells you. It's it's not ganging up on you or anything. It's just telling you something you're doing is not working and you need to sort it out. And I think we'll go attacking now. We have to, to try and win this game. And we'll put our full backs on attack as well. We've got to go at them. This is like terrible. They're supposed to, I mean, like, sometimes you think, oh, I thought I'd brought in some really good players, and then you find out you haven't. <laughs> and we should be hammering Coventry. And it'd break my heart to lose this friendly. I think after this, I'm going to need to make some changes. Bring on some big guns. Maybe they're all reeling after I put Veg Horst on the transfer list. <laughs> but this is poor. It's very poor. The two centre backs are playing very well, but we still conceded two goals. And both full backs are having reasonable games, so I'm really not quite sure what's happened there. Right, uh, let's make some changes. Uh, Nathan Phillips is tired. So we will bring on... What's he doing? He's supposed to be in the... Um, Therese Campbell, 6.5. Let's bring Veghorst on then. Bring him on, play him as a pressing forward. And he's probably going to score Veghorst. Be quite interesting if he does. Churlinoff is playing quite well, but he's quite tired. Arroyo's tired. So we need to bring on Kirk and he'll be a better attacking fullback. Nathan Phillips is also... Um, is also tired. Gabia isn't tired. Costinha is not having a very good game. That's interesting. And then maybe... Who's Zeroy? He's having quite a good game, Zuri. Um, but let's bring on Scott Twine. Josh Cullen can come in for... Makuta, who's not having a very good game, and we'll bring Bayek on as well. Oh, imagine this, losing to Coventry <laughs> in a friendly. Uh, after we've absolutely destroyed them. Absolutely destroyed them. Oh, let's uh, click play. I was not expecting that to begin. Absolutely tearing them apart. And we're still doing it. And we still can't get anything going here. And I, I guess I'm doing something wrong. But I don't know what it is. The low block didn't work. And the high press isn't working either. Players have played reasonably well. My goalkeeper has had a bit of a poor game. 6.5, but that's not that bad. And it's going to be a defeat by the look of it. Let's berate them one last time. See if we can't drag another highlight out of this. Hmm. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. I want to know, uh, past completion was was 87 there's nothing wrong with how we played absolutely nothing wrong 
who've totally dominated them. Tavares, who obviously, that comes down to opposition instructions. Tavares was probably not, we didn't do anything with him. And we should have put him on his um, left on his left foot and hard tackled him. And that would have meant that he probably wouldn't have scored. So that just goes to show how important um, the, those opposition instructions are. And as you said previously, we get results, Gobby, because mostly it's because of opposition instructions. But... It's it's not the game is not out to get you. It just is telling me that I my performance was poor, and I'm going to put that down to opposition instructions. Had we done what we needed to do on Tavares, then we wouldn't have been in that mess. <laughs> and that makes pre-season look really bad, doesn't it? With that defeat, Coventry. What league are they in? They're in League One. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness me we've lost to Coventry a league one team oh my god that does not fill me with um, hope for the Premier League oh my goodness me I mean maybe I should have just attacked them from the start I don't know I, I, I really don't know Maybe it's the low block. Maybe I shouldn't be playing the low block. But I think I'm, if I don't play the low block, I'm going to get hammered. <laughs> I'm really going to get hammered in the Premier League. Um, we shall have to see what happens. West Ham only want to loan... Or they want to sign him. Oh, no, they want to loan him. I'm not interested in a loan. Not interested in a loan. I need the money. That's the whole point. Uh, do I have to go to this? Football? No, I don't want to say that. Oh, did I actually uh, send him on an intensive language course? I don't know if I did. I don't think there's a risk. He's a good player, although he's just uh, been part of a team that's lost 2-1 to Coventry. Where was uh, his signing? Did I click that? Gabia. Yeah. I think um, we sent him on a on a language course. Well, that doesn't fill me with hopes for the future. And now we have to play Nantes away. And they're a good team. They're a bit different to Coventry. <laughs> we'll probably get hammered. <laughs> Looking, oh, I don't. I really don't want to look at the, the rest of the First Division, the Premier League. Oh, my good God. Yeah, that's cool, but let's put in a little bit of a match review there. And then Leeds is our first game. Oh, yeah, we, and also we have that awful... We have that awful <laughs> opening to the season as well. Oh, my God, I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, no, I am not looking forward to it. So I think we better go and play Nant. Hey, Blob, welcome back. <laughs> Luckily, you went away because you just missed us losing. No, is he? I don't want him available for loan. Is he available for loan? No, he's not. Can I put him not available? I don't want to loan him out. I need the money. I expecting to receive a bid for Veghorst. 
If Atlanta are willing to meet, then we can talk. Hmm. Amadeich has been granted a work permit. Let's hope he's a little bit better than the uh, previous signing. <laughs> and uh, the fans are very pleased to have him on board. And, yeah, he, sh he should be a very good player. Should be a very good player. And uh, ask Bayek to welcome him. That sounds good. Done that, haven't we? And squad number... So we do, we are very solid at the back and I can't understand why, um, I can't understand why we did so badly, really can't understand what happened there. I did something wrong, I think it was probably opposition instructions, I didn't take them seriously. And if you don't take teams seriously, hey Vince, how are you doing? Board have blocked the as a loan manager. Okay, Charlie Adam. <clears throat> oh, well, yeah, we'll just get rid of him. We can't keep him as a loan manager. No wonder I'm not getting any loan stuff through. <laughs> uh, Peter's complete ask to recommend. You know when you see that ask to recommend a signing? Um... It says Adam Peters will make any recommendations in the scouting centre shortly. I have never seen that. There's no such thing as being FM'd, Gobby. I just didn't set up properly. <laughs> I just thought it was my fault. I take responsibility for it. It was slovenly and my head was on transfers, not on Coventry. And I paid for it. And I guess the game knows you haven't put any effort into this and you're going to pay for it. I want to have a quick look at the money here. Still got 18 million. And still, well, we'd need... I still need to bring players in. That's why I need to sell um, Veghorst. Although, looking at it now... Uh, we have, yeah, we're okay at right back. So, Costantino, Cost, Connor Roberts, Kirkin and Arroyo. We're good now at, so we don't need Bayek in there. So, Bayek, we don't need to bring in, I'd still like one more in midfield. Um, we will have somebody else here. At left wing, we're okay. I'm still going to need somebody to come in here and hopefully Veghorsk, Therese Campbell has gone down a star, um, which is not good news. Maybe I need to keep Veghorst. <laughs> I, I hate transfer windows. Egan Riley is going to be a very good player. Um, why is he out on loan? I haven't instructed them to send him out on loan, have I? I must have. Did I send him out on loan last time? I thought he was still in the squad. Now he's out on loan, isn't he? Ah, oh, damn. Daft boy. The board have vetoed the attempt to change Stephen Firth. Okay, whatever. I hate the boards as well. And now we have Peacock Farrell out for two to three weeks, but he's not a big deal. He's not a first team player. So, not a big deal. I'd rather at the injury, injury be to him than anybody else, that's for sure. Let's get to Nantes. I can't do any more transfer business until we sort out what's going to happen with Veghorst. What I want to know is... Uh, where am I? Squad. Veghorst. Still have three teams interested. So let's hope that we'll get 
<clears throat> a bit for him soon. So we've got Larson who's in now. Which is good. I remember like playing in Div League 2 and uh, League 1 and being excited about the Papa John's trophy draw. I remember that. <laughs> pleased again to sell, sign a player. So the fans are pleased, which is good. Now we have 23 players. So we're getting better. It's better than it was last season, that's for sure. Although we are in a different league now. And that does worry me. I I don't know. Have we strengthened this team enough? I don't know. I really don't think I have as yet. We shall see. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really hate. Do you actually enjoy transfer windows, Gobby? Do you enjoy them? It usually takes me ages because I, I hate doing them. I give myself, I like I always do episodes ahead so that I give myself extra time to do the transfer window. Oh, I hate doing them. I've only just finished the transfer window for Norwich. was doing my head in. <laughs> you love them, do you? Oh, I hate it. And yeah, normal is good enough. I do really do. And in, in fact, I've got to, because I've got a hospital appointment in the morning. So I've got to record the episode for tomorrow, tonight, before I go to sleep. Um, because otherwise it'll be late going up tomorrow. So I've still got work to do on it after this. I've only just finished the transfer window up to the first game of the season. And it's not good. Oh, I hate these. I really hate these. Maybe I should send my assistant. I'm not afraid to spend money. I'm delighted we've been able to get him. He's only neutral at the moment. Slightly positive. Positive, good. This is his home now, yeah. Yeah, he's positive. It's the only ones that I go to um, because I, I feel like you have to go to those to welcome in a new signing. I just wish the game would, like, make it more interesting. <laughs> like, uh, there, there's no focus on the player particularly. It's just, it's those general... Um, those general sil silly um, questions. Uh, is he a right or a left footer? No side preference. Is a reasonable left foot. Gabia prefers the right, so we'll put him on the left. He's already done that. Cook in... Connor Roberts, yeah, I'll go along with that. Bayek, Larson, we've got to give him a game. Bastian, Aspria. No, I'm going to go along with that, but I'm going to... Uh, Therese Campbell needs to get himself into some kind of shape. So we'll put Campbell in. I know he needs... Um, he needs game time, but... Got to get Campbell up to speed here. I might actually... No, we're playing on... Playing on Friday. No, 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 I don't bother. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so <laughs> let's go and play Nantes. I mean, if we lose this game, I'm going to be really worried before the start of the season. At the moment, until Veghorst is sold, there's nothing more I think that I can do. And 
and Campbell's training well. He's just not playing very well at the moment. It's not great. And then Cullen this time. This Burnley save has like not been easy. I was expecting this to be a breeze. This Burnley save really was. But it's been really difficult. And I think the... I think we're really going to struggle. Makuta, is he, is he in the side now? He's gone with Bastion. Is Makuta fit? I want Makuta to have game time. Let's try that. Let's try with the high press instead today. Director of football, Gobby. <laughs> I I can't believe you actually enjoy it. <laughs> it does my head in. I know you use the director of football quite a lot, do you? Costello. Not for that money, no. If you want him, you're going to have to pay for him. And he is useful to have in the background. He's at the moment making up squad numbers. So you're going to have to pay for him if you want him. Now let's hope. I think this Nantes is a good team, isn't it? So um, this is going to be a bit of a test. Now this time we're going to do <coughs> opposition instructions. <coughs> well, they're going to sit back. That's That's for sure. He has a bit of pace, but we'll close him down left foot. Not him. Ah. I want to close him down. So, he's not really a right back, is he? What's he playing? At? He's playing him at right wing back. Yeah, we can close him down and turn him onto his left foot. And the other one, he has pace. I don't know much else about him, so not much I can do with him. Chivarels, no pace. He's pretty creative. Let's tight mark him left foot. I, I think I'll cry if I lose this game as well. All that work in the transfer window. And oh my God. And this guy, he doesn't look like a very good player to me. He's got good passing vision. So we'll we'll tight mark him again and right foot. Take the midfield out. And then Moses Simon. Oh, plen plenty of pace. So I want to make sure that my left my left back isn't Enno Valencia is a good player, I think. This is a good team. Um he's not very strong, doesn't have very good stamina. Um but he's very, very technically good player. Um so I actually don't want to do anything with him. Um he's a lot of pace. And then Canago, they're going to look to counter-attack, aren't they? Um, good strength. Don't know anything about him. Good pace. They're going to look to counter-attack. Because these three have got bags of pace. Um, don't know what to do about them. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We don't know enough about them. Interesting. So let's go and play this football match. <clears throat> well, yeah, it could do. But then if they are good defensively, then they might just shut us out. Because, you know, we're not the best. Um, we're not the best in terms of finishing. The problem with the high press is that if they, they get numbers and they're behind the ball and they're playing well, then it's very difficult to break them down. You've got to pull them out. 
um, or you've got to stretch the field in some some way. Um, another way to do it is to put distance between your lines so that you create space between their lines or you can play wide. Um, you just got to try things. Uh, I'm not going to say you can play without pressure. Um, go out and show what you've got. This is pre-season. We're not playing without pressure, that's for sure. We need to get our morale up. And so far, Nantes are the better team. They are a good team, actually. There's... This Burnley team might struggle against them. Which means we'll be struggling in the Premier League for sure. Especially with those four fixtures that we've got coming up. I definitely don't want to be playing out from the back. Although I have got two very good player, ball players in there. So what I might do is, yeah, we'll keep that on. Because we've got two very good ball playing defenders in there now. Bayek needs to start playing football as well. Needs to start taking hold of games. He's been playing this system long enough now. He should know how to play it. Therese Campbell needs to get on the score sheet. Oh, hit the bar again. We're going to get the award for hitting the crossbar this year. We hit the bar... Three times against Coventry. Now we've hit the bar again. <laughs> Gonna get the award. I'm as my is my training like um got gold post hit the gold post training. <laughs> uh, it's very quiet. They are counter attacking. They've had nothing in terms of possession. We have scored nice one, Gabia. And it's interesting that we've dominated the possession, but up till then they had created more chances. And that's the problem with them sitting back. You've got to have the passing ability. Um, you've got to be passing it around high tempo um, or stretch the game. And if you're not winning the game, you've got to somehow stretch it. One of the ways you can do it, Gobby, is just simply stretch your lines. And then their lines are stretched then. And that creates space between the lines you even go down here and then you've got space in between the lines so that's one of the ways that you can do it and the other way would be to stretch it wide to start playing wider but we're winning this game so we don't want to change anything at the moment high press you're right gobby it did it did seem to work well at least for a minute but not do have a chance well you know we look good at the back and yeah i don't have complete confidence but maybe there's uh, we're playing too new oh that looks oh lordy lordy that would have been a goal that we've got two new center backs in there and they're gonna take time to work it out um the good news is we haven't had to change our full backs but when you've got two brand new, maybe I should be thinking about not playing them together for a while. Maybe McNally might be a good bet to put in there. Because I've got three centre-backs who are new. Gabia, Amadozic and Nathan Phillips. They're all new. Um, so I don't know. Is there anybody in the chat apart from you, Gobby? No, there isn't. There's nobody. You're the only one here at the moment. Lucky you're here, I'll be on my own. <laughs> and here is Roberts. Can we get it? Playing it about. Oh, and hit the woodwork again. But on the follow-up, Campbell. <laughs> what a strike that was. Campbell. Oh, it's been disallowed, has it, for offside. Look at this, Makuta. What a shot that was. <laughs> what a strike that was. But and that's unfortunate. But we are starting to dominate this game now. And they really aren't um, well done on controlling possession. Yeah. 
while we're ahead that's all we need to do control the possession and we'll we will hopefully win this game now let's get our head on this nice one but it's saved they are a good team not so hopefully we'll come back after that coventry debacle and uh i'm gonna oh yeah i'm gonna um oh does it say nine watching i got look at my participants here and it it says only me and you oh no blob is still here now blob is still there <laughs> Oh, well, we are taking some long shots, aren't we? So I think uh, I think we'll say just be a little bit more disciplined. We're not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are not the best at long shots in the world. Just be more disciplined. Just uh, do as you're told. Zauri's not having a bad game today. And just as I say it, he has a chance. He, he's looking good, Zauri, for a change. He's only got a 6.9. But <clears throat> from what I'm seeing, he's looking very good. And um, again, you know, we, we should be two or three ahead. If we had, if our strikers were in form, we should be two or three ahead. But we're all doing, we're all playing reasonably well. Esprit is not having the best of games. Um, maybe time for him to come off. But so far so good. Not really haven't threatened since the early stages. <coughs> Let's leave this highlight go and then we'll have a look at what changes we can make. Gabia and Amadozic are having good games. Connor Roberts is having a very good game as well. It's Kirkin who's not having his finest hour, but he's playing reasonably well, a 6.9. Bayek's playing well. Nice to see Bayek passing. Now, come on, Campbell, let's pop this in. Oh, come on. Is it time for Veghorst to get his chance? I might be stuck with Veghorst yet. Who knows? I'd like to sell him because that would open up so many more doors for this team. But I know uh, the way that things are going with this Burnley save. This is, game is not going to make this easy for me. That's for sure. And uh, come on, we need to get get with the get with him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shocking defending. No throwing, throwing your arms up like that. This one, who was this? Who was this one? Absolutely dreadful defending. Oh, boy. That's because they're not used to playing together. But again, another side who we've spanked and haven't put them away. Uh, let's make some changes. Oh dear, oh dear. Kirkin's not having a very good game. Who is my other left back? It is a Royer, isn't it? So let's bring him on. And then... Two, everybody seems to be playing well. Murich again is only on a 6.7. He wasn't to blame though for that last goal. And Larson, not brilliant. Let's bring Dalio on. Diallo on. Aspria is a 6.4. Uh, we'll bring on Scott Twine. And Campbell, 6.2. Herein lies the problem. And Veghorst is not even on the bench. Because I've put him in the reserves. Therein lies the problem. Right, let's give Campbell an absolute berating. Not happy with him. Maybe I've acted too harshly on Veghorst. Because Campbell suddenly has just stopped playing. Which is kind of really weird. 
Why would Campbell suddenly stop playing? He's got the whole number nine spot to himself, so why would he suddenly stop playing? Uh, it's not good. Well, this has just totally deflated me. I thought those transfers were going to make the the difference for us, but they haven't, have they? They've made us into a worse team by the look of it. And it wouldn't surprise me to see Nantes winning this. But, you, you know, the funny thing is, is that does it really matter? Because the first four fixtures that we have, we weren't going to win anyway. So they're just fixtures that we can allow the players to get used to one another, I guess. There's no way that we're going to win any of those first four fixtures. Be lucky to get a single point out of those first four games. This is going to be a tough season. Now, come on. Oh, he's missed it again. 6.1 now. Absolutely terrible. Bayek has to come off, even though he's having a very good game. Um, Bastien can come on. Cullen can come on for Makuta. Zauri is tired. Oh, I thought they were going to win it there. I thought they were going to win it. Cherlinoff can come on. Amadeus itch is tired. Nathan Phillips can come on. This is an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. Roberts has given everything as well. 1-1. One, one. I'm not too happy with that. Although they are a good they are a good team. Let's let's just uh cheer them up a little, a little bit. Um yeah, frustrated would be the word. Frustrated would be the word. Um if I look at my team, defensively, we seem to be, that's where we're strongest. <laughs> but that's not how it's working out. Um, and now we have to, we have to play our first game of the season. And I'm wondering why. I'm going to have to bring... Veghorst out of the out of there, but he's not registered, is he? So there's bit, very little point. Is he registered? Yeah, he is registered. I might have to play him in the first game of the season. Campbell is is awful. Oh boy, <clears throat> this is not pretty. Captain, I don't know, it's not going to be Cullen, he's not going to be playing enough. Bayek, probably. Amadozic can come in as captain. And then Bayek as vice captain. Florentino have made a bid for Vekos, <clears throat> 24 and a half million. 20 mil up front. Should I accept it? Should I accept the 20 mil? I think so. I think we need to get rid of him. Um, my client has no interest, but he's willing to enter preliminary talks to see if they can convince him to join. Let's accept the offer. 20 mil up front is 20 mil. That will give us 80,000 
in wage budget and it will also give us 36 million to spend that mid that would make me feel better because i think we have to spend some money so hopefully the veg host is on his way out and that Although it looked like it was going to be painful at first, it might not have ended up so painful. I think that's a pretty good deal. I can't use him. He doesn't suit the team. Go back in and offer... Yeah, I know. I've seen that done. So let's go... Um, if there are other... If there are other people interested in him, I've seen that done. Um... So let's have a look. Are there is there anybody else interested in him? Oi, get out of that. I don't wanna Is there anybody else interested? Yeah, so what we wanna do is offer him out now for let's say what did we sell him for? What would what did we sell him for? Uh two offers. Atalanta was alone. 27 mil so let's offer him out for 24 mil for 24 mil now let's offer him out for uh, so you should go the other way 28 mil um we'll see if we can't get one of the others to sniff 28 mil off of the clubs. Yeah, I've seen that done, um, Gobby, where you can hopefully get people involved in a bidding war. Um, I think somebody did a video on that, didn't they? Juventus of 14 million. You're having a giraffe. Burnley step up the chase for Lanzini winks has been sold so let's remove winks he's not of interest to me now injury problems they might be buying there i don't know what i've been buying myself though i thought those players were good players i thought defensively we had improved this team really well should i be playing the low block against leeds i wonder or should I go at them? So I'm going to set up my team. What I think should be the team. And then see what uh, the assistant thinks. So it's not Connor Roberts, is it, at right back? Where is he? Where is my right back? Ah, there he is. So he should be in at right back. No, he shouldn't. I've lost my right back. Oh, Costantinia. There he is. So then we have Gabia, Amadeic, Kirkin. That is a, that should be in theory a good back line with Bayek in front of them. That's that's pretty good looking. Looks like the best part of our team. And then maybe we need, instead of Makuta, although he's got a decent shot on him, Makuta. Um, let's turn to shoot less often. Uh, he's got a decent shot on him by the look of it. Yeah, he's got long shots of 14. So maybe we should be encouraging him to have a Pope. And then uh, Aspria probably is. And Twine would be. Let's put Aspria on the wing. And then bring in Scott Twine. Where is Scott Twine? And that should be my best team. And that, on paper looks decent Bayek's still tired and we'll see now what the assistant says
Tottenham, Blob Tottenham are welcome to him. <laughs> I, I mean, I wonder how much they would be prepared to pay for Maguire. Oh, my God. Like, uh, maybe they'll give us a fiver for him. I don't know. Maybe they won't change. But, <laughs> uh, Burnley are in for Paris Saint-Germain, 30-year-old defender. What on earth would I want another defender for? Because, yeah, maybe I do need another left back. And he looks cheap. Oh, Veghorst. <laughs> Injured. Well, I'm not looking forward to this. The opening game of the season against Leeds. And looking at our first four games, it's like, uh, oh my God. Leeds, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United. If we get anything from those four games, I'll be very, very surprised. Although I was very, very surprised when Norwich beat Liverpool the other day with all the stuff that was going on there. Although he's got Diallo, Aspria as the shadow striker, Churlinoff. I'm going to go along with that, actually, yeah. I think that's probably a better choice than what I had. I need to have a look at what leads are about, although there's really it's really not going to tell me much because the season has, has yet to be good. Oi! Why? We already have someone who's doing that. Why am I not getting my uh, team report? I have someone who's doing that. Who changed that? Chamberlain should be doing that. So who's changed that then? Oh. I really don't believe it. Now I don't even have a report on Leeds either. Right, responsibilities. Okay, so from next week we'll have uh, a report. What do I know about Leeds? Not a lot now. They're going to play with a gig and press. <laughs> If they're going to play with a Gagan press, then I'm going to play with a low block. I don't think I can match them. So, yeah, let's play with a low block. I don't want to play out of defence. And let's be a little bit more disciplined. We'll come off the counter, counter press. Low block. Yeah, okay. I think that without knowing anything about them, have I got anything in the data hub about them? Nah, nothing yet. I'll be very, very surprised if we get anything out of this. Very surprised. Expectations are a draw. You think it should be a simple win, Blob? <laughs> oh, gosh. I just think this is going to be a really, really tough start to a season. I look at those... Um, I look at those... Uh, well, if you're surprised he's up for sale, buy him. Cheap. Uh, he has, oh, he has got back to some semblance of fitness. I want to check the subs bench because one of the things I do know is that they are useless at setting up a subs bench. And yeah, I do need a left back, don't I? Because I only have a Roya who's a young kid. Um... And then centre back McNally or Phillips can be Phillips. Uh, 
as a Uri, yeah, as a winger, Larson as a winger, Scott Twain, Cullen, and Veghorst. Oh boy, I, I don't know what to do here. No, I'm going to play positive. Cautious is not what I'm about. Let's have a look at the um, leads. Let's see if we do know anything about them. Um, turn him on to his left foot. And then Sosa. Right foot. They've got pace, which has, yeah, pace and pressing. That's how they're going to play. Rocker. Tight mark him. Tyler Adams. Don't really need to tight mark him. We'll just close him down. And then Jack Harrison. I think we can do nothing with him, I think. Maybe we'll tight mark him. Tight mark Harrison. Lingard. He's a bit braver than he was. He's not very um he's not very strong though, but he's quite aggressive. So we'll just turn him onto his left foot and tight mark him. Sinistra, he's a very speedy player. They're going to play very quickly, aren't they? But he's a candidate for a hard tackle left foot. And then Bamford, also a good player. Uh, right foot. Type mark him. And what I want to do is to tell my fullbacks to close down less often. They are a bit pacey, this Leeds team. Okay, here we go. The new season is away. So, let's... I mean, we need to get a result against Leeds, otherwise it's going to get go from bad to worse. We've got nothing to lose. And I trust you boys. Just for once, can you get one or two shots on target? That would be quite nice. <laughs> just for once. Um, I think I, that's what I would do in the dressing room. I'd just appeal to them just for once. Can you try and get a shot on target? Ah, we've got a pulled wrist ligaments. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You should be all right with a bad wrist. And it is Leeds at the moment, but let's just let's just win this ball. Question is, is the wrist going to affect how we play? Oh, that was a good tackle. Who was that? A Diallo. Well, Leeds look like a very good team, but we're doing well just standing off them. That's good stuff. I like how that was working. Just stand off them. Should be able to nurse him through. There's nothing I can do to nurse him um, with a bad wrist. So if he had a bad leg, I could tell him not to run so often or not to press too much. But with a bad wrist, he should be okay. Um, it just depends on how it's going to affect him mentally. But at the moment, he's doing all right. But it's all leads at the moment. Oh, they've hit the crossbar. We need to get this clear. Churlinoff's got it clear. That's not very good. Well done, goalkeeper. Now, come on. Let's build, boys. Let's build. Oh, thank you very much. Highlight ended. So far, it's all leads. We've had, we've actually we've matched them pretty much, though. Um, we just haven't had the highlights. But here's a highlight. As Makuta puts one in the box. Come on. Have a shot. Somebody have a shot. Go on. Surprise me. Nice. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Maybe I need to slow things down. It's a bit frantic, isn't it? And they are pressing us very hard. 
But that's good. S stand off them and force them to shoot from around there. We'll do that all day. What I'm going to do... Although we are controlling possession, so... it I, I don't think I need to change anything at the moment. 70% of the possession we've had. So we're possession-wise, there's nothing wrong with our passing. It's just that we're not... We're not doing enough. I'm just going to maybe take those off um, and take off play for set pieces. Now, have you seen the pace of him? Don't want to press him. Let's come down off the passing sometime. A little bit. That's okay. George, I always get worried. Um, yeah, we are top of the league, Blob. Yeah, this will be the only time you see that all season. I always get worried when the opposition have a set piece. I don't know why. I'm just, like, paranoid when the opposition have a set piece. It's like they, they're going to score. Yeah, they're going to score. And Leeds are going to score here for definite. Oh, good save, Moorich. And we need to, uh, you know, just shout at these boys and demand more. We're not doing enough. And maybe we're not... We're not being aggressive enough, perhaps. We're dominating the ball. But are we being aggressive enough? The Leeds are just taking the ball off us. And maybe we need to be a little bit more aggressive. Stop them doing that. And Moorich is having a brilliant game today. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's stop them taking the ball off us. I don't want to press Sinistra. He's like got pace of 19. He will, he will just skip past us. I'm going to have to take a chance. If he's pull, Maybe. Ah, what I need to do then is to tight mark him. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, is this a sign of things to come? Oh my goodness me. Hey fam, how you doing? Oh my god, what an episode this has been. I've lost two and drawn one. I, there's no way we can beat Leeds. I'm with, what was what is it, Liverpool, Chelsea and Man United to come. Oh my goodness me. Oh. I'm going to have to berate them. This is not good enough. And now we're bottom of the league. That was the only time you're going to see us top of the league. You've been terrible. You have. You've been absolutely dreadful. Campbell, again, 6.4. Suddenly he's decided he doesn't want to play. 6.5 here. 6.4 for Dalio. It's dreadful. Dreadful. Costinha, is this is supposed to be good players? Six point, both full backs, dreadful. I'm gonna go to a high press now. We're gonna put, we're just gonna press everybody. Why didn't that, why didn't that work? And we're gonna go and press them now. Just try and surprise them, I think. That would be... Let's go to the high press. Let's just try and surprise them. Kirkin is an attacking fullback, so let's let him attack. Let's have a word with them. I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. Go and do that. 
Oh, they got the defense got upset because I told Veghorst, I know you want to make an impact, go and do it. Well, he shouldn't have a ball again. He wasn't on in the first half. But Leeds are so much better than us. So, the, well, all that work in the transfer window. And I thought I had such a good plan at the beginning of the episode. And, uh, oh boy. We are facing a very, very long relegation battle. But that's nice. That's better. Well, let's win the second ball now. Nice, nice. Churlin off. Yes! 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 We are level. So now we are a mid-table team. <laughs> so, well done, boys. Oh, is he going to be given offside? Oh, no. It's been disallowed. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, come on, referee. I don't believe it. But that was good. That was good football. Let's keep going. Oh, who is playing badly now? Churling off. But he did score there, so he did... He took his chance. He was just offside. So I don't know why he's having a, having a bad time. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. There's another problem. I didn't have a defender on cover. And it's like these little things are costing me the game. The lead's finishing is as bad as ours. Come on, boys. Let's get at least get a draw out of this. My two full backs are suffering. Costantinia is really suffering. Can we get one in here? No, we can't. We know what Burnley are like finishing. <laughs> They're dreadful. Now Veghorst is on a 6.5. I can't win here for losing. And we're going to need to make some more changes here. Uh, Bayek is tired. So let's bring Cullen on. Makuta is very tired. I don't have anybody to bring on for him. Uh, what a mess, what a mess. Cherlinoff is now a 6.3. What a mess. Ah, boy, oh boy. Shall I go attacking? <laughs> Might as well lose 2 nil as 1 nil. Oh, well done, Murich. At least Murich is having a good... He deserves more than a seven, if you ask me, Murich. But we are in trouble here, boys. We are in big, big trouble. <clears throat> we go attacking for the last ten minutes. That should be the goalkeepers. The t two central defenders have played okay again. I don't understand what is going on. Let's go attacking. Let's try and attack them. We deserve a draw. That goal, marginal offside. Let's go and attack them for 10 minutes. Probably find that Makuta is out for about six weeks now with his strained wrist ligaments because I didn't take him off. Come on, let's pick up this loose ball. Let's demand more. Nice. Now, come on, someone. Nice pass inside. Now we've got space. Oh, what is that? The trials of being the Burnley manager. Dreadful. But Leeds have absolutely hammered us in terms of chances. They've had no 
They've had absolutely no possession, though. But possession doesn't win football matches. We've had 11 shots and one on target. That's what wins football matches. Not possession. And we've lost our opening game. I am so far from pleased. Absolutely far from pleased. You can probably tell, guys, I'm far from pleased. We now have, we are now bottom of the league, which is where we're going to be for a month. Um, I, I don't feel like praising anybody, so I'm not going to do it. Makuta's out for... Um, so we now have, we needed something from that. Look at this. This episode, oh my God. Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United. We've got no chance. We're going to have a lot of reds here. And their morale is going to be all over the place when we try to pick it up in the next month. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and a cry now. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I thought that we had a good plan coming into today's episode. I thought we'd made some good transfers. Losing against Coventry as was a disaster. And then losing that opening game. We're going to have no points from 12. Morale is going to be in the gutter. Ooh, what a hard season this is going to be. Yeah, we, but we just didn't look good enough. Playing either the low block or the high press, we didn't look good enough. The dynamics, I think, are okay. Um, they just are not blending well at the moment. They're a new team. We've brought a lot of players. We've brought a lot of players in. They're a new team. I think this probably says it all. And we're probably not going to gel until around about Christmas. And it's a brand new team. What do you expect? But we have this month of September where there are games that we can start picking up points. Forget it here. But this is just an opportunity to play together um, and see if we can't. Maybe we'll pick up a point or two in there. Who knows? <laughs> Happiness um, probably is OK. Dynamics are OK. Happiness is fine. Um, Nathan Phillips is slightly happy. He has, hasn't been playing. That's Nathan. That's his problem. Scott Twine is dissatisfied because he feels he needs a new contract. I haven't got any money, sorry. And concerned Zori because he's probably not playing enough. Um, but he's not good enough. So happiness is okay. Even Veg Horst is happy, which is quite surprising. Um, and we've just, I don't know, we've got Liverpool next. Oh my God, I don't even want to look at it. So we'll be back on Thursday um, for a for a really good cry when we'll try and play those three games, and we'll have a, we'll have a really good cry together on Thursday. It's going to be horrible viewing. If I was you, I wouldn't come, <laughs> unless you want to laugh at me, which is fine. Okay, so Amadozic at least got himself a seven point two, which is good. So he settled in all right. Um, I'm sure you are excited about that blob. I'm not very excited. I need to figure out how to get points now, and that the only way we're going to do that is with the low block. And I need to. I mean, one of the the tough things was that somebody in my back room has messed about with the responsibilities, and suddenly for no reason, I don't have anybody scouting next opposition um but now i do so hopefully i will get reports for the next game <laughs> and uh oh that's that's why i would love to watch you live as well gobby i'd love to see it when there's no pressure on me <laughs> it's all the pressure it's on someone else okay guys thanks for coming along tonight do appreciate it a lot I actually do enjoy doing these, but tonight I haven't enjoyed it too much. Uh, the results, 
Results have not been good and we need to pick ourselves up and at least try to get something out of the next few games. Who knows? Two points would be nice. Thanks, guys, for coming along. Do appreciate it. Have a good night. And I'll, I've got to go and record the video for tomorrow. And um, I'll have a cup of tea first. And I'll see you all on Thursday. And um, we'll see what happens on Thursday. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming.